Hello, and in this video, we are going to learn 10 common word paper formatting problems as well as how to deal with them most effectively. And so the solution is so simple, you will curse yourself for not knowing them earlier. Okay, so let's get to it. So in the first example, you can see here that our table is spreading beyond the border of the page. And this normally happens when we cut and paste a table from another office application, such as Excel or PowerPoint. Normally, our first impulse is to try to drag the cell in order to fix it. So we are going to drag the cell here and try to keep the last cell a bit more space and hoping that this could ensure that the table fits nicely within the page border, but still it doesn't work properly. So uh, a better alternative is to click anywhere inside the table and you can see that the table design and the table layout tab has appeared. So click on the table layout tab, uh, go to auto fit and select the second option auto fit window. Window here means the page border and you can see now that the table it fits nicely within the page boundary. And our first problem is solved. In the second example, you can see that there's nothing wrong with the table except that it does not look nice visually. So the first column had not a lot of text, but a lot of space, whereas the second column has a lot of text, but not enough space. What we really want is to somehow try to rearrange the cell so that uh, the second column could be get a bit more space and then the first and the third column could get less space. But please do not try to do it manually. A better alternative is to click anywhere inside the table again Go to table layout, go to auto fit and select auto fit contents. And our second problem is solved. Now in the third example, you can see that the text is somehow skewed towards the top of the table cell. So, and what we really want to do is to rearrange it so that the text is in the center of the cell. So again, do not try to do it manually. Just click anywhere inside the table, go to table layout again. Go to alignment and you can click on any of the align center uh, in the middle option here. So this is a light center right. Oops, I think we need to select the entire table. Okay, so a light center and then a light center left. So center horizontally and left vertically. And our third problem is solved. Now, sometimes we want to merge and split cell and we really have to struggle with that because it's not like Excel. There are ways that we can merge and split cell in Word, but it's really cumbersome. So let me show you a better and more intuitive method. So again, go to table layout and click on this eraser tool. And basically, if you want to merge cell, then just click and drag the eraser tool and uh, any cell that is uh, being bold here will be deleted okay and if you want to split cell again do the opposite just click on the draw table and then draw and we have split the cell intuitively and our fourth problem is solved Here's a tricky part. Sometimes we need to split the cell diagonally. So in this table, we want to split the first um, cell diagonally so that it becomes like a sort of a cross header row. So we want to display um, the header for both um, the horizontal cell and the vertical cell. So we want to display fruit and month. Let's go to table border. And if you scroll down and look at all the options, you can see that there are two options um, that will give us what we want. They are diagonal down or diagonal up. So in this case, I'm going to choose diagonal down. Okay, now, and now we will need to insert the text. So the first, the, the text on below is quite simple, which is going to insert fruit. But the text above that is a bit tricky. How do we make sure that the text is skewed towards the top of the cell? Uh, so for what we can use this workaround uh, option. Click on super screen. Yeah, and then enter month. 
Now, month looks a bit small, so let's uh, resize it, make the fat bigger, and our fifth problem is solved. Now, sometimes we want to turn text from horizontal to vertical. For example, we want the header to be vertical. Just, you know, just some, sometimes we need to do it. So in that case, select the cell that we want to turn into vertical. Now, right click and select the text direction. And there are two options for us to choose from. Is this way or this way. So I will choose the first option. And our problem is solved. So now all we need to do is to drag the cell down so that it looks nicer. And yes, our problem is solved. Now let's go to the next um, problem. I'm going to insert a new page break just to so that it looks nicer. Okay, so uh, first let's learn how to set up auto numbering and let's learn why auto numbering is needed. For example, this is a very simple table and uh, I have set set up the number but you can see that mango should be number three instead of four so i have set them up manually and the problem with this uh, memory number table is that whenever the table grows or more text are being added or sometimes we want to rearrange the order of the cell for example i want coconut to go up to the top then we will need to set up the numbering again right from scratch so a better alternative is to let word handle those um, auto numbering for us so first let's select the number the manually formatted number and then delete it and then select all the cells that you want um, it to be auto number then go to home Go to this numbering library. Okay, so this will do. Now let's try to see if this works. So I'm going to move banana up, up to just below coconut. One, two, three, four. Yep, and you can see that banana is number six, but whenever I move banana up, then the number is still intact. So let's uh, test again and go to watermelon and try to move watermelon down all the way down to the last row. And yes, the number is still intact. Now let's try to add another row and let's say let's add cucumber. Oh no, cucumber is not a fruit. Let's add strawberry. Okay, and you can see that whenever we add a blank cell, then the number will be automatically updated. Okay, and let me put a dummy number in here. And our, our auto numbering job is done. Now, next, sometimes we want to sort the column from A to Z. For example, we want to sort all the fruit sales for in alphabetical order. Okay, so you can click anywhere inside the table, go to table layout, go to sort, and select uh, the column that we want to sort. So in this case, I'm going to select column fruit. Okay, and uh, type text, yes. And in here, there are two options, ascending and descending. Ascending will sort the rows from A to Z, whereas descending will sort the rows from Z to A. So in this case, let's uh, select the first option, which is ascending. Click OK. And you can see that the second uh, column is being sorted from A to Z. Yep, that looks correct. Now, next, let's learn how to sort from our largest to smallest. So, for example, I want pineapple to be the top cell because it's the best selling product. Okay, now again, go to table layout, sort, sort by total sales. And yes, the type is automatically changed to number. But in here, we will need to select the second option, which is descending. Descending will sort the numbers from largest to smallest. Okay. And yes, this looks good. And our problem is solved. Now, next, 
We want to insert a grand total. We want the grand total sales for all the fruits in a particular month. So merge cell, okay, and then add a grand total. Um, now some of you might think that we will need to go to Excel, do the calculation and copy paste the final result to Word again. But there is no need to do that for simple calculation. You can do it right within Word. And it's quite simple actually. Let me show you how. So click on the cell that you want to display the grand total result. Then go to table layout, go to formula. And in here, they have already suggested that we want the sum of all the cells above it. So click OK. And our problem is solved. Now, next, we want to put a table into a separate page and make only that page landscape. But if I go to page layout, orientation and select landscape, then the whole document will be turned into a landscape, which is not what we want. So in this case, click on the table, select the entire table, go to page setup and click on this little arrow to open the page setup dialog box. Then for orientation, select landscape and in the apply to, the default is apply to the whole document, but we don't want that. So click on the drop down arrow and select selected text. And you can see that only the table is being put into a separate page and, and it's being put into a landscape, whereas the remaining, uh, remaining pages are still in portrait mode, which is exactly what we wanted. And that's it. These are the 10 common problems that we could have when working with tables in Word. So I hope this video has been useful to you. That's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.